It's time for Monday Night Football on EA Sports. They left in the middle of a cold night in 1984, but the Colts are back, and we're underway in Baltimore. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here come the Ravens now, ready to get the football for the first time. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And this is a game for grit, determination, and somehow finding a way not to panic. What a horrible start for them. I mean, they haven't won a game yet. So now, as a quarterback, you're not just talking to your team. You've got to demonstrate to them what they need to do to win. He's got to be the leader by how he plays. Off the option, it's Jones. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. And Charles, for this defense, you know, they're a confident bunch. Some may say maybe too confident at times. How do you think that they approach a game like this when they're taking on a team that's lost four straight? Well, if they're anything like their head coach, you know they're relying on that confidence. You and I both were sort of surprised at his weekly press conference when he was asked about this being a trap game. And he's almost boasting that he didn't see anything to worry about. That surprised both of us in a big way because we know that could be a dangerous tactic because I can guarantee you the guys on the other side, they heard that and they're looking for anything to galvanize them. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. So the Colts in great position here as they get things started. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions. But they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led them to victory. He's doing all the right things. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. On second down, it's Alexander. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. A chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. And yeah, that will be incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Weather like this, always treacherous for kickers. A good sign early, though, is he's able to put that one through. And you remember him right before the kick stomping around his area to make sure that things were going to hold for his plant foot, and it did. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He'll look to shake off the interception on the opening drive. He should at least be comforted that it resulted in three, not six. And if I were him, I would be the guy all the way out on the field greeting my defense now, saying thanks a lot. He held him to a field goal after I turned it over. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. A big play there. 77 yards, and the Ravens have taken the lead. 
As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? for the point after. Footing likely going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Takes it at the seven. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he's got Rome. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great play there. 76 yards. And the Colts on just two plays have taken the lead. So the point's coming fast and furious in this opening quarter. Whoa. Yeah, both defenses, they're looking pretty exploited right now with the way these offenses are attacking. They are a step behind, back on their heels, whatever cliche you want to use. Right now, they're trying to figure out how to slow them down, and I'm not sure they're going to be able to. Point after try forthcoming. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big play there out of the running game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point, the run even better. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 34. 44 yards on the ground for him so far. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. <laughs> 
10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. And this will be a long field goal if the skies were clear, but here in the rain of the elements, they'll go for it on fourth. They'll go with Jones. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Three yards remain for second down. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Looking to throw. And that is incomplete. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. Now the Ravens bring out the field goal unit here. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will knot us up at 10. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They go back to the ground, this time Barber. And this is going to be a Colts first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On first down, Alexander. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 103 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. And shutting him off, now open field. Pass the 20. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Colts have broken our tie as they take the lead. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that makes it a 17-10 score. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. 
There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call him the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here? A big play there on the catch and run. The offense has to love that because that was just a dump down, and then he turned something out of seemingly nothing. And the best quarterbacks understand that dumping it down is often a good play, a better play than even what was drawn up. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Three yards the gain there, second down. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Stonewalled on second down. Now let's see what they can do on third and goal from the two. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself, no reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied here in the second quarter. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. 17-17 the score, all even to this point as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Colts going to take over now late in this first half. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Throwing on first down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, you know, this club, there were some reports earlier in the week, and most have heard this by now, the so-called unnamed sources that were saying, all is not rosy in that locker room. There's whispers that one or two guys, CD, have kind of had enough of how things are going and have been going. How would you handle that as a coach? Well, you and I both know all the coaches that we've dealt with and come in contact with. They'd love to get their hands on those unnamed sources, wouldn't they? But they know that that's not possible. So I think they've got to go in there and make sure that this isn't a distraction. They also know that once the grumbling starts, it becomes a slippery slope and it's hard to stop. I think you need to sit some guys down and say, hey, look, we're still going to be a part of our team this year. We need you guys to be bought in with what we're doing. Come on, let's get on board. They go with Jacobs. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Backed up where they were on this side of the field. That was a gutsy call. A gutsy call that never should have happened. Not so much them going for it. That's their decision. But where's the defensive front? Where's the leverage? Where's the low man wins? Where's getting into the offensive backfield and spilling the play? How did they permit them to pick up a first down in that situation? And he rifles one incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. And here's Green. Off play action. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. 
as he'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Green down on first down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He was true on his first. This is a tough one from 49 yards away. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis where it was the visiting Lions who come in and get the road victory. Richard Higgins, a touchdown catch in the victory. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were losers in that ball game to the visiting Cleveland Browns. Kirk Cousins leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get you way up to Seattle. See what's happening with the Seahawks. And it was the visiting L.A. Rams who get the victory in that one. Marvin Jones, two touchdown catches in the victory. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. So here are the Colts to take over. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and ten. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Trucks over him. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 70 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run the counter with Barber. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down now, it's Alexander. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's a loss of eight yards there to bring up third. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. 
Off the option, it's Jones. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. They're going to look to throw. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll set up a throw. Caught on the slant. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Off the option, it's Jones. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the one. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Jones again. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I'll... And this time, he is in. Yes. With his sixth rushing touchdown on the year, 10th overall. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Extra point attempt here still to come. And that will make this a four-point game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. And he's set to go on offense once more. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember... This offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 
And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Barber on first and 10. And some room to roam now. A beautiful fake. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Colts are once again going to retake the lead. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive, four plays, and a long run there in the end to top it off. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So the Ravens now down on the scoreboard. At time, a huge factor. Well, their losing streak in danger of continuing as they come up on first down. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Back to throw here. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Able to find Jones, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down now, but that clock rolling. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. He's back to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Jones. And he will have a Ravens first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Wow. 
I know it's a never say never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish him off. A score that puts him in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you? And say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the. And oh, it's blocked. And they'll let this one go right on the outskirts of the 10. They'll down it at the 11 yard line. So after the block PAT, they're ready to kick this one off. From the six. And able to get this out to the 25. Now it's the Colts' turn. Trailing by a field goal. A little under 50 seconds to go. Their undefeated season hits in danger unless they can score here as they've got a first and ten. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Back to throw. complete. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Oh, no, he lost the football. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. He'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll run on first down. Barber. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And with four seconds remaining, they will call the timeout. So just enough of a cushion there to bring on the field goal unit and try to send this one to the extra session. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. Four seconds to go. This would send us to overtime. And his kick is no good. And just barely missing it wide to the right. Pressure kick, and I thought he was going to hit it. I thought we were destined for overtime, but not the case. Not at all, and they were already planning for the overtime you just mentioned, already saying, okay, what are we going to do if we get the ball? What happens?